Hi everyone, it's Isaac here, back with another video. Today's video, I will be talking about three main points of things that you don't want to do when you're racing for any period of time on Nitro Type. So just whether that be like your daily racing or your sessioning, or maybe you just want to do a big grinding session for your team, this should apply to most every bit of that. Before we get started, real quick, we do have a giveaway and a profile rating contest currently going on. So if you'd like to join either of those, it's free. You just have to fill out a Google form for either one. Um, and it's a chance to either win some free NT cash or to get your profile reviewed on my channel. Um, so first things first, accuracy. Accuracy is very important. And I find myself sometimes when I start choking consistently, I need to start focusing on my accuracy. And then my word sprint naturally comes back. It'll raise up. Everything goes well again. Now, if you're sandbagging, your words per minute shouldn't be an issue. Um, if you find that it is, maybe sandbag a little less. My recommendation is to only sandbag like to the top of a speed zone. So maybe you average 100 and you're sandbagging the high 80s. If you're still having trouble over a period of time hitting high 80s, then move. don't move down to like low 80s. Move down to high 70s. That's just a free little grinding strategy there. Next thing is rhythm. Rhythm is very important. Settling, like, okay, so I, I'm a runner in track. Um, and even though I'm not long distance, we do have to do some, a little bit of run, uh, we have to do some long distance running. Excuse my not being able to talk. Um, we have to do some long distance running for practice. Not anything terrible, typically just a lap, or sometimes a bit more. Um, but you still have to settle into a rhythm when you do that. It's the same with typing. You need to settle into a rhythm. Um, this is going to lead to our third point in a second. But uh, don't just be like constantly going into friends races. Don't constantly be going checking on your team stats. If you really want to get a nice, consistent nitro type experience, my recommendation is just to get into a rhythm. Just continue to race. Um, it's okay to take a small break between a few races if you need it, but try not to get too distracted. That leads into our third point, distractions. Um, I find that there are plenty of things that will distract me when I'm racing, whether that be a video I'm listening to that I mean, I recommend listening to videos or music when you type, that just helps me focus. But if it's a video where I want to go see something, uh, like I need to go see something or whatever, I don't know, like a, a tech video where they're reviewing a new product, they're like, oh, this is cool and I want to switch over and see it. Distractions like that cannot, are typically not very good for your typing. Another thing, don't listen to like super distracting, loud music. Uh, I like when I type and I want to listen to music, I listen to some like really chill, quiet music. Um, specifically just lo-fi. In fact, if we go to YouTube, I'll show you exactly what I listen to sometimes. Uh, I can type. Um, and it should be this one. This is what I listen to. It's non-copyright. This is what I use in my streams too. To make sure it's being picked up. It is indeed. Yeah, but I, I really enjoy this. Um, I don't typically listen to that when I type. I typically do that during my live streams. I'll just listen to whatever video I find interesting when I'm typing, but that helps. Obviously, if you can do it in like an, a room that isn't being shared by very many people. I share a room with my brother, but he's pretty quiet most of the time. He's not like, you know, gaming on some platform and like screaming and shouting through his mic or anything. He's typically pretty quiet, which is nice, um, and I appreciate that a lot. But yeah, just get rid of distractions. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to enter that giveaway. Again, it's free in Nitro Type Cash. You just have to enter the form and then just cross your fingers and hope you win. Uh, there will be two winners, uh, $1 million to each winner, which will be not a huge giveaway, but I don't do huge giveaways on this channel. We are also getting pretty close to 200 subscribers, and I don't typically like explicitly ask, like specifically ask for people just to subscribe. At the end of every video, I typically go make sure to like and subscribe. But this is gonna be one of those times to go down my way. If you can please like and subscribe we're getting really close to 200 subscribers as of the time of recording this video um and of course once we hit 200 i'll still continue to try to grow the channel of course um but yeah that'd be really awesome other than that i really think that's pretty much it i'm gonna try to stream on saturday i'm not sure what i'll upload tomorrow though so yeah have a great day